Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to answer to a very important and very frequently asked question uh, by a business community in the UAE. The question is, can a free zone company operate business on the mainland? If you read the regulations of every free zone, you come across with a clause or article that states that as a free zone company you are allowed to operate only within that particular free zone and also if you read the laws of the mainland you will find an article that states that you cannot operate a business on the mainland without having a special license from the concerned department which is a department of economic development uh, in all emirates so in today's video i'm going to answer to this question of course there is no simple yes or no answer to this question it all depends on the business activity um, and uh, you need to basically do a research specifically for your business activity before making any conclusion however in this video i'm gonna answer in um, general terms so first let's discuss what is free zone free zone is a designated area where certain benefits are available for businesses for example 100 percent foreign ownership uh, and there is no requirement to have a local partner or local sponsor and there is no custom duty for importing or exporting goods so these are the benefits that you get when you set up a company in a free zone however on the mainland uh, you need to have either a local partner um, or a local service agent depending on the business activity um, and also uh, you need to pay customs duty when you import goods uh, to the mainland. So now let me give you some examples. First, let's see how the consultancy activities work. If you have a consulting company in one of the free zones, um, then can you operate on the mainland? Of course, you cannot operate on the mainland. However, the laws do not restrict you to deal with uh, persons or companies located on the mainland. You can still provide the services to companies or people who are not within your particular free zone. Uh, they can be on the mainland or they can be in other free zones. So this does not constitute operating on the mainland. If you provide services from your premises uh, inside the free zone to companies or persons outside that uh, particular free zone. Uh, the second uh, scenario, if you have a service company, for example, let's say if you have a cleaning services company uh, in, in a free zone, can you provide service on the mainland? In that case, uh, as the cleaning services are physically um, provided uh, in, in, that, uh, in the location where the cleaning services uh, need to be done, uh, so here uh, you are not allowed to um, provide services on the mainland with a free zone license because you are physically going to the mainland territory and providing uh, the services there. So this, this is not uh, permissible under the laws. Um, and the, the other scenario is for trading activities. If you have a trading company in a free zone, can you sell products on the mainland? Um, so, of course, you cannot have a shop uh, on the mainland. For example, uh, you cannot open a showroom, you cannot open a retail space with a free zone license on the mainland territory. You can have it only uh, in that uh, particular free zone where you have the license or where the company is registered. Um, however, you are still allowed to sell products um, to the mainland companies or to people who are on the mainland. The only thing that you need to be aware of is when you sell products to the mainland company, those goods need to go through the customs clearance. If you're selling products from the free zone, it means as if you are selling from outside. So uh, your buyer, which uh, supposed to be a mainland company, needs to clear the goods and pay the uh, customs duty before importing the goods uh, to the mainland. Um, the other scenario, if you are selling goods to individual customers, um, uh, so in that case, if you're selling goods to individual customers, then you need to make an arrangement with a shipping company who should 
um, handle the customs clearance on your behalf. So these are the examples for different types of activities. Um, however, as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, there can be specific activities where uh, the answer could be different um, because there are certain activities which are regulated uh, by uh, some authorities let's say real estate activity or financial activities so in that in those cases um, you need to do particular research and find out uh, the answer i hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section and thanks for watching this video. See you next time.